what's up everybody welcome back to life on the road so today we're just going to have a conversation as we are driving home uh, i'm on the n1 so on so uh, as you guys can tell there with the description below we're going to be talking about or rather today i'm talking about like dropping out essentially you know like why people a lot of people drop out uh oh grab us I, i'll give you guys a bit of a backstory about my life so i'm a college dropout and i dropped out in the last year you know this year so i finished high school in 2016 and then end of 2016 going into 2017 or rather, yeah, I started looking more into like actually making content and what that could do for me. And so I didn't go to school 2017. It's so hot. I didn't go to school in 2017 because yeah, things were just really, really rough at home. And now when I was also just trying to find myself, find out what I really wanted to do. My mom wanted me to become a teacher. I don't want to become a teacher because everybody at home is a teacher. Um, and it just really wasn't for me, man. I feel like I don't have that patience. Which I was very fascinated. I've always been fascinated about like uh, cameras and stuff. And my dad was also like a part-time photographer back in his day. Yeah, well, so when I was in grade nine, I started working for a church, my local church. That's where I learned how to basically uh, operate cameras you know learned how to edit as well and yeah man and obviously the work in which we're doing at that time was going to like two to tv one gospel and, you know which are like big channels essentially for Abandabam so anyway as i was doing all this work i learned and i actually started falling into this stuff and when i was in the trick i met this guy we'll call him Stusiso. so i met Stusiso, and Stusiso had a company and so, so basically don't send me and it's like dude i like how you take pictures i like how you take videos so come and work for me and yeah i mean yo time was like it was an experience because we're always out and about we're always shooting the cool quote unquote cool stuff you know back to the cities all these like festivals and stuff because uh they were predominantly a hip-hop uh company so we managed to i managed to learn a lot of stuff there but i was also very like skilled at the time so they really really messed with that so the following year being 2018 i enrolled in a school called Esharana. this video is not about shaming them so i'm not going to mention their names either um for this video sake we're gonna call them a uh, water roofing varsity so water roofing varsity i enrolled in high school but i didn't go because like the fees were heavy i wanted to go after but i couldn't afford it at all so we went to the school we couldn't afford it at home and obviously you can imagine now is a single mother with a teacher's pay obviously certain things are like beyond our reach so we went there we started learning uh, i went to see, i went to water what what that school that varsity and i learned how to so i learned and i started working there i started doing things there i met two other people in jabulo and tabo and we started this this this, this move called in jabulo and tabo and we started this this this, this movement called five production which is a production house and this came and we met at varsity but that video this video is not about that this video is based on why i basically dropped out i dropped out because a lot of things just weren't working in my favor at school. There was, there was just so many things that were happening. I couldn't, number one, pay for school fees because it was getting really, really expensive. And outside of that, like, it wasn't worth the fees. I mean, you can go on the money because there's no classes there's for like a month or two months. And then, and it got really, really worse in my second year where maybe classes and stuff were like canceled lectures would leave and we wouldn't have school whatsoever for the longest time for the duration of a semester or a term and then come towards the end of the term they'd stuff everything at once being assignments maybe you'd have 10 assignments and they're all due in like space of two weeks and then just after that you have exams or throughout those like assignments you have tests and exams going in so the, the, like in a nutshell they were making up a lot of marks too and and at a certain point i just really was happy like unhappy 
pineapple. So it is much easier to stay at home because now you drive to school or you take the taxi to school and it's a waste of fuel, number one. It's a waste of time because you could have been doing something else. You could have been making money somewhere else. You know what I mean? You could have been making your own content. Ever. One thing I will admire about that school is that shucks, man. The equipment those people had was always spot on. Like, always. That's the one thing they always made sure that they were on par with was getting the latest equipment. But the training wise of it was also swag. So if you went to student group, would actually go the extra mile and learn how to use certain things and why certain things are the way they were. Or, and you went out to actually go and uh, meet up with other individuals who are in the industry. Then, like it was, it was staff, it was group, you know. So I had to, I had to learn, I had to, to do that. And uh, the nice thing was that I surrounded myself with people who were on that same wave. So they also wanted to learn, and we went out and we just learned together as we went. So um, yeah, man, it was just crazy how all, all that stuff went. And essentially, I just couldn't afford it anymore, and I just really wasn't in a good place. And I remember telling my mom, like, yo, man. I, I'm really, really not happy, you know. Like, as much as a nine to five would suck, I really would prefer that over this any day. So, just as a, for a security measure, I decided to get a nine to five. On the side, I'm doing this. On the side, I'm still creating content for other people. Uh, man, it took a while for me to actually make my own content for myself. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to like, please don't forget to share, subscribe. Don't, please also comment as well the type of content you guys would, uh, if you guys like my content and also the type of content you guys would like to see. Uh, but for me, as for me, bye for now.